Hey good people, it is Tashara from Politics and Fashion here today without my bracelets. Hold on girl, cause I'm feeling real naked. Hey good people, it is Tashara from Politics and Fashion here today with my fall haul. Now, y'all know I don't do a lot of hauls over on this channel, okay? Therefore, when I am sharing new pieces with you, it is because the spirit has hit me. I have been touched by the blood of the lamb. Now behold the Lamb. <clears throat> a little bit of praise and worship. Let's do DJ run the track back. Hey good people, this is Shire from Politics and Fashion here today with my fall haul. Now you all know, if you were not new around the tribe, that I don't do a lot of hauls on this channel. I really pride myself on sharing a message of conscious consumption and shopping with intention. And so for me, I tend to do my quote unquote big shops four times a year, maybe even less, with the start of a new season. And for fall, I have some pieces that I want to share with you that are both affordable and on the luxury side. I just got back from Lisbon where I did a little bit of shopping and so I have pieces that I feel like are going to be great additions to my wardrobe that I wanted to share with you today. But before I get started, as usual, you already know what I'm about to say. Friend, are you following me over on the socials, on social media? I don't want you to miss nothing. Make sure you are following me on Instagram and on TikTok. And you are listening to my new podcast called Justice with my friend, law professor Margot Lindauer. We talk about self-care, wellness, and social justice at a big age. When I tell you I'm across the internet, that is indeed what I mean, all right? Enough talking, subscribe to the channel if you love the video, of course, and let's get started. So let's get started with the affordable pieces. I have two items from Zara. I'm not a huge Zara shopper, but the first item is already trending to be one of the iconic pieces for this season. Hopefully it will come back in stock online if it is not currently available. I will make sure it is linked down below. And it is these. Oh, these look cute, what I'm wearing today. This is a Ganny sweater, by the way. It's a cardigan, it can be worn in the front or in the back. Either way, would it not just set it off, I suggest y'all? uh with these boots <laughs> so they are not real leather price point came in at 119 which i think is kind of high for faux leather but given the detail on them i could definitely understand why i mean they are so detail specific with the white and the black flames in the front I love the height of the heel. They're not too incredibly high. And for me as someone who doesn't love boots, I'm always looking for something that's a little bit different. I tend to find that boots are not the most comfortable thing to wear for me, especially if it's a heeled boot. And so I, I kind of transitioned into the season as more of a loafer chick good old high school principal look okay I, I just think that with a nice oversized top with a pair of mom jeans or leggings tucked in or even a dress these are going to be a great addition for the season I have been on the search for a pair of leather pants I shared it with you all in my affordable pieces to look out for video a few pair of leather pants like a leather pair of joggers from pixie market that I'm definitely going to grab when they are available but in the in the meantime, I feel like you need multiple silhouettes because in the fall and winter months, I tend to transition to faux leather almost like I would denim and denim is a staple of my wardrobe. And so I wanted to add some more faux leather and I grabbed these pants also from Zara. Now, this is what I will say. At a size six, uh, 28, 29 inch waist, very tall though, I'm probably most comfortable in a 33 inch inseam. Zara runs small, small AF. And so I got these pants in a large and while they are a bit too large in the waist so I'll get them taken in, they fit perfectly in the hips and also the length is great. So keep that in mind if you don't already know, Zara really requires for you to go up a size I believe. And so the cutouts here at the pocket detail is what I think make these it, right? They, they just, they make them sexy. When was the last time if ever you saw a pair of pants that had like the pelvis? 
the pelvic bone cut out. I don't even know what to call, what is that part of your body? I guess it is your pelvis, right? Give them a little pelvis. Do, do that for fall and watch the streets go wild, okay? Now, obviously, if this is not your jam, you could always tuck a long shirt or a sweater inside and cover that up. I actually plan to do that. I think it will be really cute as a nice pop as it peeks through the uh, side of the pants here. They are wide-legged, which I think is hard to find or harder to find in a pair of leather pants. They tend to either be kind of a straight leg or leggings, but these are wider on the bottom. Um, they have a little bit of stitching as far as the detail is concerned here and also in the back. And I just feel like a pair, a pair of faux leather pants, you could wear in a lot of ways. You can wear them very conservatively with a white button down, a white Tee, a turtleneck or you can go all the way to the left depending on how you want to style them because truly the design and kind of the jazz that street style element the it factor is in the texture of the pants and so I'm really excited about these I'm going to give them a bunch of twists for this entire season now let's hop over to my purchases while I was on my week-long stay in Lisbon Portugal I found a brand there there was a small boutique called Adolfo Rodriguez. From my understanding, he is a Spanish designer, a Spanish brand, beautiful crafted handbags and ready to wear. And I got two pieces. First up is this handbag. And I told you all before that I'm trying to get more into chocolate brown. It's not a color that I have a lot of in my wardrobe. I have one chocolate brown dress, which I adore. And I want to do more for the season, chocolate brown boots, chocolate brown accessories, etc. So this bag, when I saw it, I knew that I had to have it. It is, as you can see, this kind of long shape, this long cylinder. I've never had anything like this. I don't even know what I would call it. It is a shoulder bag, but the dope part is that the strap is removable and you can wear it, girl, look. Don't we love a good clutch? Don't we love, girl, a good clutch with a peacoat and a scarf this time of year with a nasty boot? I'm about to go up for it, okay? Now, it is not real leather, which for me is actually hard to believe when I walked in the store. And I'm a pretty, like, you know, keen shopper. I have a good eye. I've worked in luxury retail. I've been at this job for the past decade. Or I have had a blog for the past decade. Been doing this full time for the past two years. So sis is like squarely cemented into fashion. And so for you to get something over on me, that means you cooking with grease. I did not know that this was not real leather until the sales associate told me. That is how well made it is. I am hoping, hoping, hoping he has a good e-commerce website because you will not be disappointed by this brand. I think it was on sale for like 129 euro, uh, maybe a little less. As you know, if you were shopping in Europe and you spend over a certain amount of money, you get your taxes back. So it was even more affordable for me. I don't always spend, you know, to the higher end of my budget on faux leather, but this was something that was so delicious. I just had to have it, especially given the color, the pops of gold, and the fact that I can wear it as a shoulder bag or... Or I can also wear it as a clutch. Not to mention the straps, of course, are removable. And I can always throw on an additional strap and wear it as a crossbody too. So I'm super excited about her. I don't have anything in this color once again. I think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of her this season. Everybody say it with me. Orange, all right? We got that orange coming through strong. Actually, in not just this, but another piece coming up. Uh, but also from Adolfo Dominguez is this sweater. I actually wore this uh, for the podcast, a lunch party that was in Boston a couple weeks ago. I wore it with my orange Christopher John Rogers skirt. I think it was a great way to like winterize or weatherize that very kind of spring summer silhouette but I also just shot this recently with a pair of denim it is a slightly ribbed super thick material the sleeves have like a slight bell to them and what really sold me was the oversized collar y'all know I live for a popped collar also the fact that it has a split hem which I think is great for a half tuck on a sweater um I want to get for fall more colored sweaters into my wardrobe I'm actually also tracking a few pieces over on and other stories for that purpose everything that I have 
tends to be in a neutral, which I'm not mad at. I love neutrals. But every once in a while, you want to pop a color. And I feel like this sweater is going to be a great addition. I think she was on sale for like $69. And because she was on sale, I may not be able to link her. But if I can, I will do so down below. Once again, a great pop of color. And I can't wait to style her up. I also thought to myself... Because with orange, you don't always want to wear black, right? It's giving goons and goblins. It's, it's, it's giving Halloween. And so if you want to find a neutral to wear with orange, for me, it either tends to be white or I thought to myself, the chocolate brown could also eat. I mean, that's just going to pop, right? With a pair of chocolate brown boots. Now let's hop over to Zara's big sister, a little bit more stylish. Sister probably got, you know, a grad degree, maybe a little JD, maybe a little MD, maybe a little MPH. You know what I'm saying? She's done her work. And so now she's not necessarily as Zara at that price point. She's up a notch in Massimo duty, okay? As she lives in her loft apartment in Philadelphia working for the Public Defender Service. Yes, we always have a story over here, okay? And so as a result, what she's done is gone down to Massimo Duty and got her a little color to, 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 to implement into the courtroom, okay? When I was in Lisbon, I could not get enough. We went to Massimo Duty two or three times. I only got two pieces, but I could have bought out the store. We'll get back to that in a minute. In the meantime, the first thing I got was this cropped wool sweater in this very beautiful violet color. Uh, on camera, it's looking more blue. It is a lot more purple in real life. And again, I'm trying to do more knits that are in color for the season a great pair of denim color blocking it i can see this with a pair of ooh wool green trousers Child, don't play with me <laughs> warm it up chris i'm about to girl totally crossed out listen because that's what i was born to do all right let me focus, girl. I'm feeling a lot of like late 90s, early 2000s references. Let me know down below if you hip. Um, a pair of denim also. We, we gonna do that. Also, leather, black leather on the bottom. So many ways that I can style this. And I love the fact that it is cropped. It is sleeveless and it comes in a bit on the side, almost like a muscle tee. And what I did was I actually wore it for a podcast taping with... A wool skirt back in that orange. Now this also came in a really pretty, I think like chartreuse yellow color. I may have to have it. <clears throat> I may have to have it. And, and y'all know it must be bad for me to say that because I don't do a lot of color. But it is so well made. It is wool. It is fully lined. It has a high slit in the back. And although it hits kind of like midi length, what it makes the hips do. The way the hips hip, I mean, we just, we can't go wrong, friend. We cannot go wrong. A white tank with this, with a moto jacket draped across my shoulders, the purple cropped sweater, a nice green piece, oversized green sweater tucked halfway in in the front, a graphic tee, a nice pea coat. We're going to get so much wear out of this for sure, 100%. Right now, when I wore it for the podcast taping, I did do it with a pair of white shoes, my Versace sling bags. Uh, I also have a pair of white boots that I could style it with. But I want to play around with different colorways. Again, that chocolate brown could be an option. Not going to wear black, but I would wear another color of a shoe. We'll see where we're headed. I am taking a trip to LA very soon, and she's definitely going to be with me. Now let's get into the luxury part of the video and hide your kids and hide your wife we got some great pieces okay first up is a dress that i got from the bottega veneta outlet i actually grabbed this dress all the way back in september when i was down in orlando for my sister's sweet 16 birthday party i wore it to her dinner Flicked it up on stories real quick, but y'all otherwise have not seen this. And so I wanted to give her her due shine in this video. I don't know how to describe it. It's an asymmetrical cut, but here's where she hit you with the heat. Let me turn this thing around. 
girl, look at how that is cut out. So what that means is you have a good swath, a swath of the back. <laughs> a good swath of the back is out. And you moisturize that thing. I'm talking about shea butter to down. And then you all of a sudden turn slightly to the right and that side boob is out. For me, it is slightly below the knees. I'm almost six feet tall. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find anything like this online, but when I tell you it was like $600, the best that I have definitely spent in a long time. I'm gonna do a video, you all, of my best and worst luxury purchases of the year. She's already made the best list. She's already made the best list. I've only wore it one time. I'm gonna get outside with this though. I'm, I'm gonna do it. I gotta do it. It is a very thick knit, so not quite a bodycon dress, right? Because of the way that it hits. I got it in a size 38. Typically, I would have probably done a 40 or maybe even a 42, depending on the European brand. But a 38 worked well for me here because I am a bit more narrow in the waist than I am the butt and the hips, of course. And so it allows for it to kind of have a little bit more space up top, but just hit the body yadi yadi on the bottom. It's sexy. I don't even know what to say. Um, Kelly Green with this, baby blue, baby blue, baby blue with this, my, my baby blue Brandon Blackwood bag, then my tie up brown Lulu sandals. I don't even have anything else to say. That shit is disrespectful. Next up, let's go back to Lisbon and a purchase I made at Loewe. Two purchases, three purchases. <laughs> I made two on one day, slept on it for three days, and came back before we left, okay? Uh, so Loewe was for sure the best shopping experience that we had. My mom was with me. She said to me, I love shopping with you because I don't have to spend a dime, and I get treated like a royalty. I said, exactly. That's what it should be like, okay? So she's in the back, like, sipping champagne or, like, having a cappuccino, giving me her opinion on all the things. And this is the first item that we spotted walking in. They are a pair of sunnies. No. <laughs> no, they are not those bubble sunglasses. No. They are the RoboCop ones. Talk to me nice. Real nice. Look at this. On the side frame. The full acrylic. The oversized shape. The pop of gold here. I'm going to be honest. Okay, as a self-proclaimed bald-headed scallywag, they're giving a lot. They are very, very fashion forward. I don't know how much I'm going to wear these. So I saved my receipt and I'm thinking to myself, okay, when I go to New York next month, I don't know, I might be looking to exchange these. But for right now, for right now, I feel like I need them because I have nothing like them. And I wear for me this time of year, y'all, is so, so incredibly important because we tend to be bundled up. I've shared with you all the months where we have to layer. It's not my favorite season for fashion. I'm from Florida. Give me a sundress, give me a body dress, give me a tie-up sandal, and I'm out the door. You see what I'm saying? And so right now where I'm thinking about cardigans, sweaters, coats, more bulk, where I feel like I can get the most fun out of my wardrobe is going to be things like eyewear, handbags, jewelry, etc. I can do a whole video on that if you want to. Actually, I have. I have. I'll link it down below. It's all about the accessories that you need for winter. Um, so here I am with the RoboCop Sunnies. And I don't know. Y'all Y'all let me know. Are they too harsh? Like part of me feels like they may be a little bit too harsh for my face. But the other part of me is like they so bad. I mean, look at this. Do you see the... It be the details for me. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't, what should I do? Y'all let me know down below. These came in, I think, $350 or so. Definitely on the higher end of sunnies that I've ever paid for before. I don't think I have anything else that came in at this price point. I tend to be a Ray-Ban girl, um, an Amazon girl. I also tend to find sunglasses quite often at affordable price points. But let me know. 
And then the piece that I am really obsessed with that, that I know I am going to have forever plus one day is the Loewe sweater. You and I must make a path. We must bring salvation back. I'll be there. Won't I be there in the Loewe crop sweater? I'll be there. Uh, now, here's the thing. Loewe, Loewe, Loewe. As much as I love certain pieces, I hate others. And I hate other pieces, I love others. And so the Sunnies were a, these are different, these are fashion forward, these are stylish, need. This sweater, definitely the same thing. And I actually went in there looking for the wool or the mohair sweater <clears throat> that comes in a variety of colorways. They only had the most recent version in stock. Didn't quite love the stripe detail on that. It's also a little bit itchy. I was like, oh, that ain't for me. But, but when I saw this and it also comes in red and I think gray, I, I, I automatically knew. Like I went to the fitting room, tried it on. I had on a pair of high waist denim that day and that was exactly how I planned to wear it. It is exactly how I have worn it. I'm gonna put a long white button down underneath this. I'm gonna wear it on top of slip dresses. I'm gonna wear it with trousers. I'm gonna wear it with a prom dress. I'm gonna wear it with my wedding dress. I'm gonna wear it all the time with all the things wardrobe staple and I made a commitment you all may know from my luxury uh, wish list video this year to do a lot more ready to wear I honestly feel like for those of us who are into fashion and into designer fashion it's easy for us to get caught up in the handbags and the shoes and the accessories and the things and the thing nothing wrong with it whatsoever but I know for me as someone who loves fashion as someone who hopes to one day be a fashion archivist what I hope is that I also will respect and highly regard a brand's ready to wear because that really is where their brand shines everything else is just the accoutrement okay that that's all it is honestly honestly when we talk about designer fashion at its core it's about the ready to wear and when I saw this the price came in at $8.90 I said yeah wrap her up this is something that I definitely need that I feel like my cost per wear is definitely going to be received from in the long run and last but least, I actually forgot that I picked up another piece from the Bottega outlet and it is another pair of sunglasses. Back in September, once again, so I've had these for a while. You may have seen them over on social media. This is probably, y'all, where I'm the most comfortable with sunnies. I'm a cat eye girl, okay? And that's why the Loewe pair I'm kind of on the fence about. So, these I got from the Bottega outlet, as I mentioned. I love the kind of classic detail on the side that's very much Bottega. The color is like a deep red slash burgundy, which I thought, it almost reads tortoise, actually which I thought would be really dope for the summertime when I want a lighter colored frame. Um, I love the shape once again. They feel really structured, very substantive. Like this is a pair of sunglasses, girl. Like they are thick for sure, okay? Um, they have the Bottega Veneta embossed there on the side very lightly. If not, they're pretty nondescript. You wouldn't even know who they were from. If you know, you know. If you don't, girl, you weren't meant to, okay? Um, and <laughs> and uh, I have loved throwing these on on days where like black just isn't going to do and I need a lighter pair of frames. And so uh, although I got them thinking about summer, I do think I'm going to be able to get a lot of fall wear out of them as well. And that is it, good people. That is my affordable and luxury haul for the season. If you want to know how I style these new pieces up, then stay tuned for my next video, which is going to be about my fall capsule wardrobe. You all know if you are not new around here that I take pieces in my closet, I mix it match them for the season it makes getting dressed a lot easier and it also keeps me from just buying bye 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 from buying all season long unnecessarily girl i can't do it no i don't know why i'm so giggly today y'all know when i get like this i just be okay it's going to help me to stay focused 
for this season and I hope that it will help you to do the same. My tips for this season are very simple. I talk about them in my newest ebook, how to declutter your wardrobe and curate a style that you love. You are going to want to download that as you get into your wardrobe for this season. Ask me any questions that you have down below. In the meantime, subscribe to my channel because I don't want you to miss this capsule wardrobe video coming up very soon. You're going to want to see how I style these pieces. Trust me. Hopefully it will be very inspiring and edifying for you. In the meantime, good sis, I will see you all across the internet.